Is Conor McGregor auditioning for WWE? That is the question. After this week's um, spate of events, it would appear that there is the possibility that there is some interest from Conor McGregor to participate in WWE events. Now, I'm not sure about you, but myself personally, I have been a huge fan of WWE, WWF, WCW back in its day. And, uh, you know, to be honest, I think Conor McGregor would be a great addition for the WWE. He would, um, I think it be, could be quite entertaining, entertaining. And WWE is about entertainment. So, you know, he's crossed over into boxing and become a megastar doing boxing, even though he didn't do very well. He fought Floyd Mayweather, but he, he fought Floyd Mayweather in his first fight. So, you know, that's pretty legendary. He has got some good at UFC schools. He has provided a huge draw card for people and uh, sports entertainment. So what better place for Conor McGregor to go than the WWE? You know, in the past, there's been a few crossover uh, people going from one to the other. Um, Ronda Rousey, I just saw in the news just before, she just competed at uh, one of the WWE pay-per-views. So I'm really happy for her to be able to to do something like that because it's 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 her future it's her life you know and and it's quite i think it's quite an enjoyable thing being part of that even though it's uh, quite dangerous and you get hurt it's you know it's not taken seriously it's we know even though when i was young i i, I did believe it was real um it's it's fun, and you know, I I, wish, I honestly wished Ronda Rousey, you know, success, because she brought the women's division to the UFC. So we, you know, she's done huge things for the sport. Conor McGregor has done huge things for the sport as well. Um, but you know, is he going to go to the WWE? Is he going to come back to the UFC? I don't know, but. I'm going to enjoy watching it. So while we're here, let's talk about the latest UFC 223 and we'll focus on the women's division. So again, we thank Ronda Rousey for her commitment to the sport um, and she drove the UFC um, and the women's division to be brought to UFC. And we had Joanna Joe Jacek, who I thought, to be honest, was pretty invincible. Um, coming up against a rematch against Rose Namajunas. Now, I think the betting favourites, I don't know, I would have assumed they'd be with jo Joanna because she's had the belt for a while, she's defended it, she's, to be honest, she's pretty amazing and and no one else has really come close, I think, to, to really sort of beating her. And she's very, very skilled. Um, she's I, I think she's honestly she's very very good like she awesome champion anyway Rose um, I always been I watched Rose in the UFC Ultimate Fighter and um, she was quite impressive and she had um, skills that were definitely had some highlights but you know I kind of thought she was on the way out after the Carolina Code you know, Carolina fight um but, you know, she got back up, she kept going, and she got a shot at Joanna, and man, did she take advantage of it. And so she got the win. But, you know, people think, is it the knockout win that was lucky? It wasn't expected. I think after this weekend's fight, it, she's proved... Um, but she is the champion, and she beat Joanna twice convincingly. Um, like, her movement was just... It was just a beautiful thing to watch, the way that she moved in the ring, the way she looked relaxed, the way she would reset, go back to what she was doing that was very effective. Um, her movement was just... 
so relaxed and fluid and natural. Um, you know, I, I, I question whether she did some meditation practices for fluidity and relaxation. Um, you know, and I thought she did a great job. Um, what's there else to say? She definitely won the fight. It wasn't like a lopsided fight, but uh, I think she clearly won the fight. And now we get to Khabib. Khabib has been doing, like, Khabib has, it's, it's very rare in the UFC that a fighter from a different country gains the popularity and respect and is, is able to be promoted by the UFC in a way that creates the superstar. Because to be honest, UFC, they need their superstars. They lost Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor hasn't, we haven't seen Conor McGregor for like two years. Ronda Rousey, huge star. But, you know, she just got stretched a couple of times. And, you know, this is ultimate fighting. So, you know, still respect to her. George St. Pierre. I don't want George St. Pierre to fight Khabib. Uh, to be honest, I think George would win. Um, but if Khabib got him down, man, Khabib could really do a number on him. Oh, boy. Anyway, I don't want to see George St. Pierre come back. You know, George... He's, he's an absolute legend. I don't want him to keep coming back unless it's for a big money fight, you know, with Khabib, geez. But anyway, I think that after Conor McGregor's thing with, with what went on at the bus and Khabib, because, you know, you would you would put your money on Khabib winning the fight, even if it was against Tony Ferguson, even if it was against Max Holloway. Oh, man, did we miss out twice? Like, Max Holloway would have been an awesome fight. Um, you know, he could have easily won. Um, Tony Ferguson, that would have been an amazing fight as well. I was so looking forward to that. Um, but anyway, you know, is it possible that Conor McGregor is amping up the the draw of Conor McGregor versus Khabib, knowing that this will be his last fight in the UFC? <laughs> um you know, like, to be honest, Max Holloway and Tony Ferguson, I think, would be better against Khabib. Conor McGregor, though, he has that puncher's chance. He has very, very good hands, and he could knock out Khabib very, very easily. There's absolutely no doubt about it. And I, I think that a Khabib versus Conor McGregor fight would just be, it would be probably one of the biggest fights and it would probably be the biggest fight in UFC history because, you know, they're, they're gaining all of the viewers and and people watching it. And I think it would it would just cross over and it would draw a huge amount of people around the world. It, it would be one of those like marquee events where everyone would go down to the pub. Um, that translates from Australian to English to place where we drink alcohol and watch boxing or UFC fights. Um, you would just pack the places out, like the Conor McGregor versus uh, Floyd Mayweather, even though that was a kind of like a joke fight. Um, that packed out the place. Like locally where I went, the place was packed solid of people watching it. It, was, it reminded me when I was growing up of what happened when Mike Tyson had a fight. The pubs here in Australia would just be absolutely packed solid and it would just be the best atmosphere and it was very, very enjoyable going down the pub, sinking some beers, or watching Mike Tyson be Mike Tyson. You know, out of boxing, he's a name like Muhammad Ali. Even though Muhammad Ali has more... It's different because the Mike Tyson did that, the uh, biting thing. Uh, anyway. Um, but yeah, Conor McGregor versus Khabib would just be a mentally huge fight. I know, imagine Khabib and then Rose Namajunas versus someone and then add like uh, a heavyweight fight or... You know, Cody Garbrandt versus TJ Dillashaw for the rematch. Can you imagine that? TJ versus Cody Garbrandt, because that's like a bit of a grudge thing. You've got Khabib versus um, Connor. That's the, 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 the full-on grudge match. 
Uh, Rose never junior. She can't get a grudge, grudge much against her because uh, she's too chill and cool, and she's not going to get caught in <laughs> to, to being taunted with um the boogie lady. Um, but I love Joanna, you know, I absolutely love Joanna, and she's doing her job to try and promote the fight as well. So you know, it's to be honest, it's a lot of the time what we see it's not their true nature, but it's 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 to amp up the fight because fights now are a little bit like WWE wrestling where it's it's you're trying to sort of get drama into it because to me the WWE is it's like here in Australia we have things something called home and away and neighbours here your, your daily drama television show what's the one in America the days of the restless restless lives I uh, Oprah Winfrey Judge Judy it's kind of like that. It's a TV show where people follow it. They follow the characters. Um, WWE is a character drama show that you follow and you find it entertaining. Um, but, you know, UFC is kind of a little bit like that. Um, but, yeah, I'm the matchmaker. Khabib versus Connor. Cody Garbrandt versus TJ Dillashaw. Rose Navajunas versus oh, some poor lady. Like Carolina, um, you know, rematch for them. Um... You know, she's coming back onto the cards. And then have, like, five title fights. Oh, yeah. And then you could have, oh, John Jones versus Daniel Cormier. Oh, man, that would be, like, an absolute cluster. Um, F blah, 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 of, of the chances of people getting injured, not making weight. But, yeah, no, no John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Um... And then, no, you couldn't put George St. Pierre in that card. It'd just be too much. But can you imagine a card like that? Like three title fights. Conor McGregor, you know, grudge matches or something like that. I don't know. But it would be a huge draw. Oh, Brock Lesnar. Let's bring Brock Lesnar back. Um, I, I, I love Brock Lesnar, you know. He's, he's a superstar. Um, and... He's a genuine, he genuinely came to the UFC and he fought. Um, it's not easy. It's it's really not easy to try and fight at that level. But, you know, Brock Lesnar versus, I don't know, Alistair Overeem or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Something like that. And then have Floyd May on there as well. <laughs> Oh, isn't there a guy called Sam Punk or something like that? He's fighting. I don't know, but you know, you could you could have a lot of fun and just create a huge event, and then you have to choose to do it in Russia, or Ireland, or America. You have to do it in America, I think. Um, but yeah, can you imagine the 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 hype of a Conor versus Khabib? You know, and then you add a few more title fights. Like today's UFC, it was yesterday's UFC. It was good. And, you know, it's just disappointing what happened. But anyway, I've been blabbering on for a while about UFC, kind of. It's kind of like my drama TV show that I like watching. And I've been watching mm, a few other drama TV shows. Uh, anyway, so the question is, is this kind of auditioning for the WWE? I think he kind of is, to be honest. Uh, we got to leave your options open and see what happens. But I wonder how much money he's got left. <laughs>